think if you don't visualize and you don't take action, you don't act as if that's giving up on your manifestation rather than letting go. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nay. If you're new, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. So today's video, like I promised, is going to be about letting go. I've gotten a lot of questions about letting go in regards to acting as if, visualizing, and taking action. A lot of you guys are seeming to get a little bit confused. Excuse me. Hey, it's 11-11. It's 11, 11 right when I got the text message, right when I turned the camera on. Uh, I love the universe. Yeah, so I've gotten a lot of questions about you guys being confused about like the difference between letting go, when to let go, versus taking action, visualizing, acting as if, if that, you know, depletes the purpose of letting go, all that stuff. So I'm going to dive right into it because... I really, really like this topic. I think that a lot of misconception comes from letting go as if like giving up on something. And there's a huge difference between letting go and giving up. When I think of giving up, it's like you don't care anymore. Um, you're not making it a priority. You're not taking actions to like get yourself to where you want to go in life. And then when I think of letting go, I think of trusting the universe and letting life flow. Letting go doesn't mean that you don't care anymore, that you just aren't doing anything um, you know, in relation to that manifestation, not thinking about it, all that stuff. It's just giving trust to the universe and letting life flow and letting life, you know, just happen and knowing and trusting that whatever you're trying to manifest will come into your life eventually. Letting go is more of a mindset and it's more of being okay with releasing the, the need for something um, that you've been so consumed with. When you let go, you're no longer connected and like needing to control that aspect in your life you're just simply okay with the present moment and you're showing gratitude for the present moment because you just know that that manifestation is coming ask the universe for it you're doing things you know to get you there and you're letting go of the need to have it right now when you let go it releases the stress and anxiety and worry about not having it right now because a lot of the times when we want to manifest something we repeat it over and over and over we do things you know in our mind and we just like get consumed with trying to manifest something and we want it so badly that it creates this stress and anxiety in our present moment now because we're repeating it over and over that we want and that we need something which creates lack here in the present moment because you're living as if like you're not happy until you'll get that and having that lack and that worry and stress in the present moment that's what you're going to get because that's what you're giving the universe you get whatever energy you put out there so if you're thinking that you need something and you're trying to get something so much and it's like you feel like almost stressed because you don't have this manifestation you're not being grateful and present for the moment that you're here now for so Noah actually told me something when I was kind of feeling like I wanted this goal so badly and I was kind of getting annoyed and like just stressed like because I can see it and I know that it's like there for me but I was like I, I just I want it like now like I just need I feel like I should be there now and he told me you want to get from here to here without going through all the middle stuff that middle stuff is like where we learn the majority of like our life lessons and like appreciate even having the manifestation in the process because we go through all this stuff to get there and if it was that easy to go from here to here um, everyone would be doing it and it wouldn't have meant so much when we actually got that and it would be easier for everyone to have it you wouldn't really have the opportunity to even try to get that manifestation and it really wouldn't mean much if we didn't go through all that middle stuff so just letting go basically in summary is to trust the process and just go with the flow and know knowing that you've already put it out in the universe and that it's coming. You're kind of like giving that trust. Hi birdie, oh my God, a little bird just landed on my tree. Sorry, I just got so sidetracked, he's so cute, okay. So I wanna get into um, letting go in relation to acting as if, taking action and visualizing. But before I do that, a lot of you guys also asked me when to let go. And there's no really like set when you should let go. I think whenever you start like getting consumed with your thoughts and you kind of create almost anxiety and stress towards manifesting and you're getting kind of just like consumed with it and you, you like you know the back of your mind that's just like dragging you down and you're kind of creating this negative presence um, that's when you need to just release all worry and stress and release the need for like that manifestation and that control and like obsessiveness over that manifestation and that's when you need to just be like you know what 
life is gonna happen I know it's coming to me I need to recognize that and trust the universe I've put it out there and I just need to be present and appreciate everything that's going on right now in my life because I'm going to get that and I have to just trust the process and that's when I say to let go you know you have to become self-aware of your feelings and in tune with your thoughts and if you know that this manifestation and this obsessiveness over this manifestation is like getting to you and you're getting stressed and anxious oh my god now he's on my window oh I want to take a picture I'm so sorry. <laughs> he's so cute. I'm so sorry. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. I'm so sorry. I got one for you guys. He's literally right there. He has like a yellow tail. Okay, I saved it. I'll pop it right here. That's so crazy. I just saw 11 11. This like damn bird landed on my window. He's really cute. Okay, I am so distracted. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's when I say to let go. Like that bird, just fly and let it go. Release all need for control and like the need to have something and just be okay with being in the now and just know in the back of your mind that it's coming and you just need to trust the process because you can't attract things if you're in a negative mindset and having that like desire to want something so badly can give you the motivation to do things but it can also create lack in the present moment so whenever you feel that lack and that feeling of like overwhelming need to have it right now um that's when i say to let go and just release you know go with the process and learn what you need to learn from all this stuff and you know have fun with the process so first i'm going to talk about taking action versus letting go so taking action towards your manifestation is not mean that you're not letting go like i said letting go is more of a mindset and knowing that it's coming taking action is actually doing the things that take you to your manifestation as long as you're doing something every day to like get you to where you want to go in life um, you can't just sit on your bed all day and say I'm gonna manifest this and it's just gonna come to you You need to like, you know live the lifestyle that you want this manifestation to bring to you So taking action definitely shows the universe that and it's part of like the asking process And every time you accomplish something that takes you like closer and closer to that manifestation You'll believe a lot more and you'll receive it faster The best that you can do when you're trying to get your manifestation is to actually do it um, you can't just sit around and think, oh, how am I going to get it? What's going to happen? I'm like getting stressed over this. You know, you just have to do it. Just do something that's going to guide you towards that manifestation. If it's even buying a house or something in it, like you can't visually see yourself and you don't have the funds to buy a house, just researching dream houses and looking up the process of buying a home and watching success stories, that's all taking action. Just because you're not actually going out and getting the manifestation because you don't have like the resources or something just doing something that gets you um a step closer to understanding that manifestation or you know feeling connected to that manifestation and learning about the manifestation that's all taking action this is all part of the process of getting there so when i just said from getting here to here and not going through the process all of these taking action steps are part of the process letting go is a mindset taking action is actually doing it that is what's going to take you to the manifestation that is not mean that you are not letting go Letting go means you're trusting the process and you're okay with the present moment and know that it's coming. So I got a lot of questions also about visualizing and if visualizing means that you're not letting go. I think visualizing is more of a motivation that if you're ever feeling down or negative or upset, letting go does not mean you're giving up. So that doesn't mean you can't do things and like think about your manifestation. It just means that you know in the back of your mind that it's coming and you're just trusting and going with the flow. So visualizing is actually super beneficial and it actually activates your subconscious mind. It gets you in tune with your manifestation, it gets you feeling the emotions and really, really just giving you that motivation through meditating and visualizing yourself with whatever you're trying to manifest. So if you're ever feeling down or you're just feeling kind of unmotivated, visualizing is a great way to, you know, get that motivation back up and get your mindset back in the realm of that manifestation. I think if you don't visualize and you don't take action, you don't act as if that's um, giving up on your manifestation rather than letting go. There's a huge, huge difference. And I know I'm repeating a lot in this video, but I just want to make it super clear that the difference between, you know, giving up and letting go. That doesn't mean you can't take action. That doesn't mean you can't visualize. And that doesn't mean you can't act as if. Maybe at the end of your visualization, if you do get kind of overwhelmed and consumed and you end up waking up from your visualization thinking like, oh, I'm in lack right now and it's giving you the negative feelings. Again, it's different for every person. You have to kind of become self-aware. Um, and if that's the case, don't stop visualizing because it gives you in tune with your manifestation and you get kind of, you know, connected to it and you understand the feelings that come with it and you visualize yourself with the manifestation, which makes it easier to believe. Um, but if 
if you do feel like kind of lack after you visualize, something that's really um, a good thing is to visualize letting go. So visualize everything, you know, go through all your five senses, visualize yourself with the manifestation, get motivated and pumped, put it in like a balloon or put it like as a ball and visualize yourself throwing that ball and releasing the need to have it like right now and just throwing it out in the universe and just trusting and watching the ball flow into the universe or the balloon, you know, lift up into the sky and whatever it's best for you, like visualizing your release to like need to have it right now and just giving it up to the universe and just trusting the process and watching it float away. Um, that's definitely a benefit if you do kind of get kind of a little bit overwhelmed with visualizing. And now on to acting as if, again, letting go, um, doesn't mean that you can't act as if. Acting as if basically means that you're acting as if you've already had the manifestation here and now. And I've also mentioned this a lot in my videos. Make sure that you're tapping in tune with your emotions and your feelings and that you've manifested whatever the feeling and emotion that the physical manifestation is going to bring to you. And you act as if you've already had that. The whole part about the law of attraction is to just be happy and be. And just you'll feel abundance and watch abundance flow into your life because Whatever energy you give out to the universe, you're going to give back in return. So if you're giving lack and obsessive and control and need and worry and stress of like trying to get something so badly, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get worry and stress and anxiety and negativity. Um, but if you're letting go and releasing the need to have it right now and the control and you're kind of just detaching from that manifestation um, and living now and being present and happy and finding abundance right here right now you will receive abundance so um, whatever you're trying to manifest uh, whether that's like money love health um, live as if you already have it right now because that energy that you give out to the universe you will receive in turn so like attracts like uh, if you want to manifest love give the universe love um, show love and kindness to people because that's what you will receive in turn so I really hope this answered you guys' questions and um, the difference between letting go versus giving up letting go in relation to taking action visualizing acting as if you can still do all those things that doesn't mean that you're not letting go um, like I said I'm gonna repeat it one more time letting go just means that you're giving trust and you're releasing and detaching from the need and creating lack in the present you're actually creating abundance in the present and like attracts like so you will receive whatever you're giving out to the universe right here and right now so letting go is just kind of releasing the need to have it right now knowing and trusting that you've put it out in the universe and take action, act as if, and visualize. You can do all that stuff and still let go. So I really hope that that answered your questions. Um, if you guys have any more questions for me, definitely let me know. I've gotten a lot of questions about this specific question. So whenever I see in the comments or on my um, social media platforms, you guys ask like the same questions. I tend to make videos on that because I see a lot of people ask me about it. So if you see someone that's already asked your question, if you have the same question, write it down because the more I see it, the more you guys will manifest the videos. So I hope that made sense. That was a really cool video. I saw 1111 right when I got a text message. I saw that bird thing and I feel like this was just a really great manifestation video and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a comment or like the video so I know that I am creating the content that you guys wanna see and I will see you guys all in another video soon. Bye guys.